Thanks for staying with us. Kogi State Governor Yahaya Belu says Nigerians are being made to accept the reality of COVID-19 by force. Mm. According to him, COVID-19 is only out to create fear, mm. panic, mm. orchestrated to reduce and shorten the lifespan of the people. We don't understand what this statement means. So for those of you that live in Kogi, please <coughs> call us. We'd like to hear from you. Call us from 070-8066-8014. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your VTVC so we can read your tweets. Because people, <laughs> half a million people have died hmm. around the world hmm. of, of this disease. In Nigeria, we recorded over 500 deaths already. Yes. And we have a sitting governor hmm. telling us that this virus is just orchestrated to, to create, create fear. fear. The hoax. Me, I don't understand. Did you understand? What you meant? I don't Could understand, you? but I've been in conversations with my friend, uh, friends that live in Koki State. Okay. And for them, they are like, see you. He is one person and he says his own. I am my own. So they had been listening to the news. Mm. You know, he had refused NCDC to even come in there no. at a point and just, um, you know, just totally disregarded the guidelines or what they stand for. He, there was a time he was the same person that came up with a, an app. You remember the app that was supposed to help you detect um, COVID. Ah. But people are taking, from what I hear, people are taking like individual responsibility, which is what the federal government has said to us. So they wear their mask and things like that. But um, the officials themselves don't seem to have seen pictures of them at events. <coughs> they do not social distance. So they would wear their mask, but they are not, you know, doing the social distance. So that's why at this point, it's really important that people put their ears to the ground, watch the news for themselves, see the numbers out there. And this is really sad because this was also after the um, um, death of one of the officials in Kogi State who allegedly passed on from COVID. I think mm. he died in, a, in an mm. isolation center. Mm -hmm. So you're like, okay, if you are there, what else, what do you it think? It was actually at his burial that the that guy was saying, saying that because this. he was insisting that he didn't die of COVID, mm. that he actually died of natural causes. Yeah. Although reports had it this week that the man had actually died because of, as a result of COVID. complications from COVID-19. Well, you know, it's not in, I was going to say, it's not a Nigerian thing. You know, we have someone in America that is also of the same mindset. <laughs> The guy at the top yeah, there, you know. Yeah, so yeah. I think there's a group of people in mm. this 2020 that mm. just are not, you know, right. I don't know what they're thinking. Even for the same me, governor was yeah. wearing nose mask. Did you notice? <laughs> he went for the barrier and he wore face mask. So what was he? Protecting. I don't natural, he was protecting <laughs> against natural causes. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel that um, we shouldn't um, take our belief as law and transfer it on every other person. So we've had news that... Uh, People are dying, whether it's of natural causes. How come, how convenient it, it, it is, or is it that it's now that a lot of people are dying left, right, and center? I've had people who've died around me. How convenient, young, old, he has no, he's not a respecter of anybody. So if you do not believe at this stage, that COVID-19 is real. That's your belief. And I believe you should hide that in your pocket and don't bring it out. Because the truth is, a lot of people will listen to him now and feel, eh, okay, I can go about my business. Mm -hmm. And then before we know it, we'll start having a lot of people dying, slumming, whatever it is. The truth is, we, we are not seeing as much people panting. Like the, uh, 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 when the, the yes, when the, um, pandemic started initially and we had a lot of people on oxygen and we're not seeing that in Nigeria. So it's making people relax to say, mm, are you sure this is real? But we, what we have here is more asymptomatic. So you will not show symptoms, but then if that thing catches any underlying sickness in you, that is the end. And the people who have died around us, they had either diabetes or something underlining. So don't just come out BC, and I say, BC, BC, I get what you're saying. We're talking about the executive governor. Uh -huh. yes. yeah. this, is the, this is the front line man of the saying. whole state. That is what so I'm if saying. If you and I have those reservations, if Bedroom you and I have those reservations, that I will not be a pilot call. That, mm -hmm. is not real. that is for us. But when the front line head this, comes out ah, and that's... now says that, it's, so 
for us, I now get more confused. Mm. Because is it that he's not talking with the NCDC? Is it that he doesn't have a relationship with the federal government? Is it that he's not, he's not, he's not um, engaging other stakeholders within this country? What exactly is the issue here where he continually feels? Because the chief judge has died. Mm -hmm. You attended his burial. And you're now saying that he died of natural and you causes. Wore a face and you wore mask. a face mask to the, to the, yeah. to the, um, to the burial. I would really like to hear from people living in Kogi State. Or maybe from the, uh, from some of the... Okay, I have Anela on the phone. Okay. Good morning, Anela. Are you there? Hello. Hello, ladies. Thanks for calling, Good morning. Anela. Go ahead, please. I'm a first-time caller. Welcome. Welcome to the show. <laughs> she got you. Yeah, um, my, my, my take on uh, this COVID-19, I, I think the government are not really doing well with this COVID-19 issue. Okay. Now, imagine in Suru, there is... I mean, among the local, I mean, the local government mentioned by the federal government that might be going on shutdown. So there was part, I mean, it's part of the, um, this local government. And uh, we don't get to see anybody who has COVID here. So mm -hmm. I think they need to create more awareness about COVID-19. Mm -hmm. And when anybody calls, I mean, they all have um, COVID-19 symptoms, they should come brand with their branded uh, vehicle. You know, to alert people that uh, there is some, it's not to create fear, but it's to create this part of awareness mm. so that people would have this mindset that, okay, mm. COVID 19 is real. Seeing is believing. That's, that's my view. Thank you very much. At yeah. this point, Mr. Eniola, I think we're looking for people that will, pu will put people on crosses and crucify them first for us to believe. Every day we're talking about people who have died. For, I don't know what, do we want us to put like a, like a mat, a, an area in, in the middle of a place and say, people, come and visit and see the ones that are, are dying. How, no, how else? Fairness, no, 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 okay. No. See, the, the thing about Nigeria is I don't even understand this conversation. First of all, people will say, we don't know anybody that has died. Then they started telling you, oh, this person has passed. They call the names. Then you say, okay, it's only rich people that have passed. Then rich people, then you're not hearing kind of where everybody is passing on. People are saying they are burying people. You say it's natural causes. causes. The truth is, you will not believe if you do not want. You will not see it if you don't want to see it. And then maybe until it happens to you, and you can say for yourself that it's happened to you. But the thing is, it is real, it's real. and we should take um, precaution. Let me let me take this call. Good morning, are you there? I'm um, here, yeah, good morning. Good morning, Yakub. go ahead, please. Yeah, yeah and everyone to Miriam. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. We can hear you clearly, go ahead, please. Okay, let, let, you see, Morayo, I really give thanks to God Almighty Allah that we, sh we do have this such character as the governor of the God State. <laughs> so why is it nice say so is that? I didn't think we have such character as the governor in the God State. People have been worse than this. Mm. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, let me quickly add to what he was trying to say. Mm. So we have people who are supposed to be our leaders, who are supposed to know better. Because if you can, if you if you don't know better than the people you're leading, that's a mistake already. Now, even if you feel in your heart that this is not real, you shouldn't come out publicly to say it. A lot of people are going to be uh, misled by it. A lot of people are going to throw caution to the wind. We already have a problem where Nigerians are not even paying attention to the precautions they are supposed to take. Now, imagine somebody just listening. Mm, this governor, mm, he has just made sense. This thing is just created to cause fear. Who created it to cause fear <laughs> all over the world? Who are the creators of this COVID-19? Yeah. I have seen seen people close to me who have died. Close to me, close to my husband who have died. I have seen people who have it right now that are close to me. I have experienced it one on one. So I won't go outside and say it's not there. Mm. I won't say it's natural well, causes that have killed them. So we need to pay attention to what we say. Because the truth is that, in fairness to him, okay. there was a video that went out a few weeks ago, about a month ago, mm -hmm. where he was, <clears throat> his, the objective of what I, from what I saw of that video was he wanted us to Yes, COVID is there, but let us not say because of COVID, life must not go on. That's what I got from that video where he was saying that we must continue to stir up the economy. We must continue to, because we, we had actually done a lot to invest in this, where we have farms, we have rice farms, mm -hmm. and all had to shut down because of COVID. Mm -hmm. So he, well, from that video, what I got from that video was like, listen, <laughs> yes, there's COVID, but this thing can be such that let us not shut down the economy because we don't have the ability or the capacity to do so. Okay. We cannot survive as a nation if we do that. So I understood that from what is on that video. However, 
Then just confirm. Did confirm. you say he said yes? There's COVID. No, no. He just. Well, I, I can't remember. <laughs> he did not say that. He was saying that he was trying mm. to acknowledge that. Let no, us I guess not say so. because of COVID. COVID. Mm. I, shut shut down down the the yes. I, I get thought, that. I, I could reason with that. Mm -hmm. yeah. But at the same time. We shouldn't, as a leader, come out to be saying that this thing is not real yeah. or this thing is was created <coughs> just to create fear. Mm. That can be quite misleading and can make lots of people complacent on okay. this issue. Mariah, so what I, I want expect, to say, okay, what I expect for him to do if he really is about building the economy and not shutting down because of COVID-19 mm. is to ensure that all the doctors, all the medical practitioners in his state have the PPEs, to ensure that those people who are in the rice farms have the PPEs, to ensure that people are paying attention it's creating awareness. We need to see activity mm. that he's doing something to ensure that the economy does not shut down mm. and not come out to tell us there's no COVID-19. Okay, let me let me take this call from Kogi State. I'm so happy to get this call. Mr. Adeyemi, please yes. tell us. Tell me what's happening in your state, brother. Yes. <laughs> Good morning. This is my first time caller. Welcome. 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 Okay, now. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Presently, our governor is just playing politics. Mm. Okay. Mm. Number one, and uh, I won't blame him. I will also blame his party and the federal government okay. for giving room for this politics. Okay. And uh, I will also blame the uh, boss Mustafa for also giving room to this. Because number one, we in the state in Kogi, we some of us know COVID is ill because you can't, you can't say the whole world is lying. People are dying per seconds per day. But the problem is that the federal government has not given us the full story of COVID. Hmm. When you tell a story and you leave some space, then you give you room for suspicions and, to and for us to fill, up, to, fill, to fill up the gap. Yeah. Right now, the governor has his own fan base. Likewise, Donald Trump and uh, the Brazilian president, who people are tired of in their nose. And this is COVID is because it's not careful. The government knows that he's done. The government knows he's done. And he might not come back. Ooh. You know, that's also... Thank you very much, Adeyemi. Sorry. That's also one of the things. <coughs> you know, um, the governor, yes, has all the powers and everything, but it just brings to question what are indigents of a state meant to do when you have a leader that seems to be clearly not paying attention mm. to the health of the people. What should the state, the medical association in that state do? Mm. You know, what should the, the state assembly, the members of the house mm. do in that mm. situation? Do you just keep following? You oh, know, I'm where sorry. is the check and balance that mm. we have been talking about between executive and legislator, uh, legislative and the executive arms? So we cannot allow one. The reason we have a democracy is that so that when one person goes mad, there are other people that are able to hold the person down. Do you understand? So the thing is, we need to find, we need to find ways, is it to um, educate ourselves more on our rights, right, right. to, to okay, we, empower ourselves right. so that we know the steps to take when the governor is not doing what is right. Okay. Unfortunately, May I we have to finally this. quickly say yeah. that the federal government should call him to order? because they can't be fighting COVID and making all, making sure that everybody's taking precautions and saving, safeguarding ourselves, trying to open schools and all of that. And somebody's somewhere saying that COVID-19 is not real. They should call him to order well, and get him to understand what everybody's to, doing. Unfortunately, that's all we can take. Let's go on a break. When we come back, we focus on our topic today, which is parenting. Stay with us, we'll be right back. You can watch Your View on TVC every Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Nigerian time on DSTV Channel 418, Go TV Channel 27 and Channel 47, Star Times Channel 121 and Channel 307, Play TV Channel 801 and Channel 190, UHF 49, Sky Channel 515 for UK viewers. Watch live on Facebook at TVC Connect and on our website, tvcentertainment.tv forward slash livestream.